What's up, YouTube? It's Boy King Sanction, and I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as you always watch the full video. So now, ever since Lena and King announced that they will be posting on their separate channels, they got people wondering, are they taking a break from their relationship? Well, Lena posted on TikTok and people felt like she was throwing shade towards the situation. Maybe they are taking a break. I just needed some space so I feel free. Well, you don't want this because you're loving. Is she really better than me? So now the comments were stating, oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds wild. I ain't gonna lie, but like, sometimes people do, especially like um, influencers, they do play into the the rumors. No, sometimes it'll be a rumor, and instead of like, like the thing that Queen Isaac was doing with the, with the ring thing, you knowing everybody wants you to get married, everybody's talking about you in the ring. So, oh, right to be like some some, some people play into the the rumors or the or the the speculation or whatever. Some people play into it, but sometimes they really be <laughs> speaking into what they're actually going to. You know, know how something that we repost or retweet or whatever it just sound good that was a tight quote but sometimes that quote fits the situation yeah it's definitely making sense someone else states king needs to be alone he not his true self and i think once he takes dancing seriously he will be happy and someone even states well you lose them how you get them so now you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. Now, Lena also explained why they are posting on their separate channels. She's basically stating that they need a break from each other because they're always together. We can't only. Uh, look, this part is on the other video, but I'm going to somewhat repeat what I said. My, my only thing is y'all should have been doing this from the, from the beginning. Doing this in the middle of y'all relationship while y'all after y'all just had two kids and got engaged and all that, and now you want to do this? Yeah, that might cause a conflict. That might this might be the you know a sign of the end is near. But then sometimes, hey, some people can make it work. Some people can make it work, but sometimes doing this again, it's like if you already have a norm and you try to change from that norm, things don't go right. So hey, pick this on though. on social media and Danny even went live stating that she was getting ready to expose everything on Corey. Now Corey only had a few things to say about knowing who people really are. Then Danny came back and responded with, I'm not the person to run to the internet when certain things happen. I really don't care about the next person's opinion. I'm trying my best to handle this as professionally as possible because don't push me. It's a whole lot more these people don't know, and I've seen way more. Believe me, I don't care about you being sympathetic at all. If you want to get some things off your chest, let's go, because I'm a real bee. I don't like that indirect ish. Let's get this ish over with or close your effing mouth. People talk. It'd just be crazy that, like, when they first get with Corey, especially like, hey, Danny and Maddie. Y'all talk so y'all talk so highly of him. Like he's a great man. He's a this. He's a good dude. He's a man's man. He's this. He's that. And then when things come at the end, oh, you're all type of crazy stuff. You're like you're you're not another thing that they said that you wasn't beginning. That's crazy. Part of you playing victim in every situation, but I guarantee you met your match i'm not going venting session for venting session live for live indirect post for indirect or none of that corny a itch then corey comes back and responds with every time i feel like i'm being played with i just talk to god gotta control your emotions i've learned that people love to start stuff and want you to give them a reason to do evil stuff towards you as long as you stay calm and keep god first he will. That is very true, bro. That is very true. I'm quite sure we all have seen it. Somebody start an argument just, just to get a reaction out of you. You don't give them the reaction that they want. Then they start a bigger problem. Protect you. Don't react out of your own emotions because that's when you cause the chaos that they wanted in the first place. The devil work very evil and strategic, but God work with love. Love is what love does. Peace is Priceless. If someone want to hurt you, let them. 
It'll only show who they really are to the world. God gonna heal you. God oversees everything you're going through. Don't try to prove a point to humans when the whole time you only need validation from God. He control all of this. Stay strong through every battle that come your way and you will prosper in front of the people that was cheering for your downfall. Now, one of those people that may be cheering for his downfall is Chris Sells because he had some things to say about the whole situation with Carmen getting a new car from Boogie and Corey out this playing has got with monkeys. Study. Corey pairing females to date him and, and Boogie borrowing Carmen cars. I just love this thing. He love playing with fire, bro. He you know this man's name is Boogie. You want to call him Boogie. Boogie and all this other stuff. <laughs> keep, playing with, keep playing with fire, bro. Some girls you want get treated to, like a princess after dealing with a lion. I really do. Now, I did see a little video on Carmen speaking on me, and she said something like I tried to collab with her, but she said she thought I was going to troll. I really wasn't going to troll. But Carmen did just hit me up to do a podcast with her. What y'all think I should do? She did DM me and she said, yo, Chris, I want you to do this podcast with me. So y'all think I should do it or not? Nah? But anyways, how y'all feel about Book buying my girl Carmen a car? Because I felt like she did it. She did her big one, even if it was a fake relationship, even if it wasn't. Who knows? At this point, we don't know. I don't believe none on social media because I was in a relationship where we did a lot of fake shit. So who knows? We don't know, but I'm just happy to see her happy. While Carmen, I mean, while Corey over there playing with a monkey, call me back. So now if you guys didn't know, Danny and Corey have a child together, which they're calling their daughter. Now this daughter is a monkey and Corey has been spending a lot of time with her. Well, Danny... <laughs> I'm like, what the hell did it come from, bro? How about a monkey? was on live yesterday and she stated that the monkey was actually missing Corey. Not sure she put Corey out, but she stated that Corey was coming back to get her because she was all sad that Corey left. What's going on, girl? Why you been sad? You been sad because your daddy gone? Ow! Why you just beat me? You know what? He coming back, Clover. I ain't gonna lie, that thing creep me out. I ain't gonna lie, we gotta get past it. This thing is ugh. Yeah. Y'all let me know what you're saying, I think this is giving me the creeps. I don't know. I can't I can't watch it. 